Uh, so we're going to do that. The other thing you've got to be careful of is that um, is that even though this is an event and you're raising it, you can only raise an event if something else is listening, if something else is hooked or subscribed to it. So you have to put in a condition in here. So if update prog bar does not equal null, then do this. We'll experiment with that a bit later on. But this is all we have to do. This is quite happy now. So now we've got this event handler, we have to hook into this, we have to sort of utilize this. So what we're going to do is, we, before we go to worker, we've instantiate, we've instantiated it. So if you go w dot, the IntelliSense has worked out we've got a new event handler there. So I hit tab, update prog bar. Now it's the same as the button click up here, we're going to do the uh, operator of plus equals. Now, in, now Visual Studio 2005 does this as well. A new event handler, yeah, tab to insert. So all I'm going to do is hit uh, tab. Now it's going to generate um, the new method, um, which is every time it's raised, it's going to go to this method. So every time, if we go back to worker, we raise this, we do this, we call this. Every time we raise this, it's going to go to this method here, which is currently not implemented. So I just delete that and I say progress bar increment 1. That's all I need to do. OK, so um, that should all work. So let's just do a build. Succeeded. We're going to do a run. Hit go. And hopefully we should see absolutely no difference whatsoever. But what I've done is that now the update of the progress bar um, is being pushed on one by throwing an event. Now, it doesn't need to, you know, it could be four applications could be hanging off that event. That could be going off and doing other things. But it just so happens it's just pushing a progress bar along. Now if you wanted to have a bit of text like which loop, um, then you'd have to overwrite this event args here. Now we've still not completely finished this because um, I'm going to actually create and add a new project and I'm going to add it as a DLL, a class. So I'm going to call this work. And there's work. Let's delete the default class. So we don't need that. Uh, and I'm going to move, I'm going to copy it. Sorry, so I need to delete that one. I need to go into worker and I have to declare this as public because this is without any de any um, declaration type it uh, becomes a private and we build okay it's not happy namespace worker could not be found are you missing a reference oh, of course we haven't referenced it so I go to progbar 101 oh, references add reference um, it has to fondle around a bit catalog all the um, Manage.net and Com Plus, the Browse, and also the Solutions tab, which is the one we're going to be interested in. Projects, and there it is. So I'm going to whack that in there. Uh, and that should be it. So you can see that this has gone to blue now, so it's recognized that. Build. F5, we're going to run it. And here we are. So now this is now running across one DLL across the other. So you could quite happily deploy this DLL as being your worker. And then you can raise this event through the worker, which could be updating either your um, console app, it could be a web service, it could be um, a, um, like, a, like a system service if you wanted to do that as well. Um, uh, and that's kind of working. So we just prove it one more time. We're going to add a new project. Um, it's going to be a console app. Prog console here it is here prog console I need to reference it add reference prog bar 101 there it is there and I'm going to say uh, work uh, so I'm going to say whoop, if I reference the wrong one no yeah I have actually I've referenced the one wrong prog console prog bar 101 I don't want prog bar 101 I want work Add reference, work. That's why it wouldn't go in there. This is called prog console, so I need to pull in that namespace. Which is called prog bar 101, of course it is. So console using prog bar. I'm just having a really good think about that, or is it? Yeah, it is. So if I now go worker w equals new worker w equals update toolbar of course my new event handler tab twice console dot right line update 
and up here I'm going to say console dot right line start d d d d and uh, copy that line similar thing we did the cursor end and then say w dot do work okay so this isn't a whole heap different to what we did before I'm going to set this as my startup project uh, and of course it's uh, there we go here we are it's already updated one and another so you can see that we're just hooking into this event every single time and you can use events to do a whole heap of things normally if you want to change some things together you can actually use event handlers to push them along um, so it's kind of useful to do that um, don't know why it's doing those funny lines out, oh, it wasn't, it was just the updating from the recording software. So you can see that I'm starting to pull apart. So I have basically, this is my back end, this is my WinForms, this is my console app, um, and they're all running off this event handler. Um, and that's that's how it all fits together. So um, I hope that's um, that sort of helped you. Um, I mentioned that it uses anonymous delegates. It kind of does under the hood, even though we're not actually describing or using the the keyword delegate. Uh, but that is that is effectively what's happening. Um, every time we create this, the delegate is actually in there, which uh, we're actually saying a delegate is obviously a pipe from one method onto another, but you just don't know what they are at design time, but you know what they are at runtime. Um, so you're programmatically um, using a pipe from one method across to another. Um, so that's how they work. So uh, there we go. If you've got any questions, then um, add something to the end of this um, of this YouTube. And um, speak to you soon. Cheers now.